Hello and welcome to another update video about Crow Kronos. So he is still um, very, very, um, very, very much at risk of coming down further in the C wave here. You know, we've got these two possibilities on the chart and the, just the movement to the upside just looks so choppy again, like we had it now with many other coins as well. Um, it's just holding sort of above a trend line here, as you can see. But also here, it might have actually already broken it depending on how I draw that trend line. And at the moment, it's just everywhere in the market. And hopefully that comes across in these videos. Everywhere in the market, we, we still have the risk that all these movements that we've seen, all those rallies that often haven't been impulsive, that they are just um, corrections and they are still part of this B wave. I did try to explain that in yesterday's video as well. And I did highlight that the move down here looks very much like a three wave structure. And if the A wave highlighted here in orange is a three wave structure, the B wave can easily overshoot and could eventually then come down in the C wave. And this is what makes it so difficult in the current environment because a lot of these movements can just be overshooting B waves. When I'm using the KuCoin chart here at the moment and on the KuCoin chart, you see that key level for an overshooting B wave was at nine, basically 9.06 cents. Um, it did briefly break above it, but didn't hold it. So it's not a sustained break above that level. And again, that is sort of a very, very key level for an overshooting B wave. Yeah, Taking the length of the A wave, actually I need to adjust it slightly. It's more like 9.04. Um, but that's a very, very key level for an overshooting B wave, the 1.38 retracement of the A wave. Yeah. And because we never broke it and sold off so impulsively again, it again emphasizes the risk here that we are or could be in a C wave, especially if we now break below that trend line. I think that would be a strong confirmation that we are really in the C wave of two at the moment only added here on the chart as an alternative. But this will certainly gain in um, momentum and in probability if we break below that trend line and then also take out this level I highlighted to you in one of the previous videos, which is here the 7.85 cent level. The last swing low breaking below that would basically invalidate this move to the upside as a third wave. And already now it's it, it's just too choppy yeah, to, to have too much confidence in it. It is still the primary at the moment, this rally, but I'm I'm already, you know, thinking, you know, is it, should it be the other way around? But probabilities are just very close together and that's just the reality. And, uh, you know, when probabilities are very close together, you need to be aware of both outcomes and possibilities, but be aware of the key threshold levels, you know, because if now, um, if co, co, crow, crow can rally above that 9.0, what did I say? 9.05, 9.06 cent level, that 1.38 retracement and hold above it then the primary here is confirmed in a third wave, but I wouldn't necessarily bet on it too much. Um, be aware of the alternative, which is here, the move down in the C wave. And that will give us a very nice uh, long trade possibility and the trade setup again, if we get into this region, which I would highlight at the area between the seven cent level, the 50% retracement, and I'm going to highlight it on the chart now, the 50% retracement, and the 78.6 retracement. If we get into this area, this will be support. This will be support for a C wave, yeah? And a very attractive long trade opportunity for the long term as well, provided the 6.16 6 cent level is holding, which is the 78.6 retracement. So these are the two levels. Um, movement to the upside, clearly not impulsive, looks rather choppy. It could be a series of one, two setups, but you have three of them. So it's getting a little bit unlikely. Um, but yeah, that's the situation in which we are, you know, and it needs, it needs to hold that 7.8 cent level to have another chance to rally in the third wave. If we break below that at the latest, I will make the orange count here, the primary, which would then mean that wave two wasn't finished here, but wave two actually here. And you've got that situation at the moment on several charts where several charts appear to be still quite strong, but we need to be aware that it could just be a B wave. Uh, you have that situation and that's what is so difficult about these B waves. They can rally above the previous highs. They make the impression, you know, you're already in the next bullish wave, but actually it's just an overshooting B wave, basically what people would call a suckers rally or a, a, a bull trap. Yeah. So be aware of that and structurally very much possible, both options. So be aware of those, 
of those threshold points. I'm not doing anything with Crow um, strategically. Sometimes I like to talk about my strategy and plan as well. I'm not doing anything until we get into this area. It's just too uncertain at the moment. Okay, so that's my update about uh, Crow. I hope you liked the update. If you did, please hit the like button, leave a comment and subscribe. And if you really like the content, please check out the channel membership. Thanks a lot for watching. Bye-bye.